Hello there, I'm Steve from Mac84. In this video, we'll teach you how to import your saved game files into the Delta Emulator app for iOS. This app just launched on the App Store and lets you play game ROMs from a variety of popular Nintendo systems on your iPhone. But when you launch a game, what if you don't want to start over? What if you instead want to resume your progress? Well, you can do that as long as you have a save file from another emulator or imported from real hardware like by using this mega memory card that I featured in a previous video. You could import that into the Delta emulator quite easily. Now keep in mind, not all save files are in the same format, so you'll need to do your research and see if you need to convert them. We won't cover that in this video, but let's get right into how this works. First, you need to download the Delta emulator. Once you have that, tap the add button to add a ROM to the game library. No, I won't tell you where to get the ROMs, but <coughs> oh, excuse me. Next, you'll need to copy your save file to your iPhone. You could use something like iCloud Drive, AirDrop, or simply email the file to yourself. Now tap and hold on the game ROM that you want to load a save file for, and select Import Save File. My save file is already saved on iCloud Drive, so I'll just navigate there to select it. When done, tap Open on the top right of the screen. Once you've done that, tap the game once more to launch it. If you get a dialog box asking you to resume or restart, select Restart. If everything worked correctly, now that game will load up your save data and voila, it's like you've never left. Hopefully my Pokemon are still hanging in there about 27 some odd years later. Ah yes, there we go, there's my Superfish Gyarados looking happy as ever, and my totally legitimate captured Mew. From now on, the emulator will use save states to record your progress. To access these save states, press the menu button. Furthermore, these save states can be accessed by tapping and holding the game from the main menu. Plus, if you tap and hold a general save state, you can also delete it. That's about it for now, but if you found this video helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel, and I'll catch you right here next time on Mac84.